the air and all that breathes. And oxidation is the cow. So I decided to try my hand at a horizontal axis wind turbine. Uh, I'm going to use the same generator I got on top of the uh, Sylvanius, the vertical one there. And I decided to go with the homemade PVC blade because it's cheap and uh, I can make them myself pretty quickly and get a feel for how these things work. So I went ahead and I got a 10 foot piece of 4 inch PVC and then what I got here is some galvanized nipples I have this one here and then I got the little threaded cap thing here and this will go inside like so and this will give me my rotation so it can catch the wind and I'll put a little grease in there and that will be a semi decent bearing and then what I'll do is I'll drill a hole through here to keep it from bottoming out and that'll be uh, my bearing so to make the blades I'm gonna do five blades on this because of uh, my wind speed area here um, you can do seven blades nine blades eleven blades the more blades you have the slower wind speed you will need to have startup so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with five and see what that does so what I did here is I took a piece of wood, got me my first straight line, and now I'm going to take a compass and divide it into four pieces so then I can have four equal sections. And then after that, I will do the profile for the blades. We got the uh, rocket stove fired up here, and I was also playing around with my little thermoelectric generator just to see if I could get some, uh, some light off of the rocket stove. So I just uh, mounted the thermoelectric generator to the exhaust pipe here, filled this guy up with some water, and voila, we have light. Pretty neat. That'll uh, I'll do some more experimentation with that at a later date. Get some more powerful modules. And the off-grid workshop is doing pretty good. Got the radio going, all my lights on, and this is working out pretty decent. Once I get some more panels here in a little while. I'll go ahead and get a larger inverter so I can start running power tools. Uh, the little inverter I got now won't do much more than run the lights and uh, the radio. But I'm going to go ahead and get the compass, mark these blades out here, and I'll be back to uh, show you the next portion. So it took a couple minutes, but with the compass I went around a few times until I found the uh, right angle with the, uh, the compass there. And there's my four equal sections. Now I'm going to use my, uh, my piece of wood there. To make my straight lines going down and these are going to be four foot long blades well I cut the blades and what I got was schedule 40 PVC which is uh, they got schedule 20 40 and schedule 80 and this would be the schedule 40 which is medium thickness and at four foot here's the problem these are really really flimsy so that's not going to work so what I thought I might do is see what would happen if I took some uh, metal duct and uh, I cut that down to try and make it stiffen it up and we're still pretty flimsy. I can bend this really easy. So what I'm going to have to do, I think what I'm going to try next is the black pipe which is ABS plastic which is a lot stiffer which they use for the uh, sewer portion of your plumbing and I'm going to get schedule 80 which is the thicker stuff so once I get some of that we'll go ahead and recut the blades and we'll see what happens alright so I got some 4 inch black ABS I couldn't get the schedule 80 so I went back with the schedule 40 that's all I could find that's the thickness of it and the black marker don't show up too well so what I did is I went ahead and taped off where my lines were and I'm getting my cuts in now I got one done here one here and I gotta do one more on this side so instead of making four blades or you know cutting this into four equal parts I cut it into three equal parts instead this time so the blades will be wider hopefully that'll give me some more rigidity and instead of making them 48 inches long I made them 40 inches long so I'll be able to get five blades out of this length of pipe 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and get these cut up, and then I'll show you the angle I'm going to put on them to actually shape the blade. So here are the six completed blades. Well, not completed, just the uh, six equal halves there. So I'll go ahead and put the profile on them and get the profile cut, and then I'll have one extra blade in case I break one or screw something up. So I went ahead and I marked each one of these three inches from the end, and then down here, it's going to be a little over halfway. And then I used duct tape there so I could have a nice edge to cut on. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut, and we'll go from there. All five blades are cut. These are a lot stronger than the PVC blades and they're a lot thicker. Only making three of them out of the four inch. I gotta shape a few to make them all match and then we'll figure out how to get them mounted. So what I did is I put them all together, found out which ones weren't the exact same shape. And then I put them on the uh, bench grinder here and got them all to be equal. And then on the leading edge here, this part, I rounded it over so it was more like an airplane wing. I was reading in, uh, I got a little book here from the library, kind of goes over some of this stuff here. So I kind of did what they did, but I modified it to fit what I got. So that's where we're at with the blades. See, here's how you want your blade profile. And I put the rounded nose on the leading edge part. So now I gotta figure out a hub. So, what I got here is the top of, if you can see it through the tree there, the smart drive motor. Because that's what I'm gonna be using for this. This is where the magnets are. There's plenty of room in there to bolt everything together. So, I got a nice circle here, I got my center, and then I got my five lines for each blade where they're going to be located and what I'm doing now is I'm just screwing pre-drilling some holes and screwing this down to the hub itself uh, make sure it's going to be solid and then I'll lay out for my blades mark the holes for that and then I'll nut and bolt the blades to the piece of plywood and then screw it all back down to the hub here's all the blades mounted to the hub looking pretty cool I took it outside, we got a little bit of a wind today, stuck the hub on my finger and it took off spinning instantly. So that's a good sign. So next I'll get it mounted to the hub and we'll go from there. There it is, mounted to the hub. Now I need to go and get the rest of the stator off of the Sylvanius and then what I'm going to use for my tail, got a nice thick piece of galvanized, that should work pretty decent for a tail to keep it in the wind. And then I have a long 2x6, which I'm going to mount the motor on here, and then bring this down maybe an inch or so and run that all the way down for my tail. And then that'll give me something solid to mount this guy to the bottom of that and that'll be my bearing setup all right here we are mounted up on a 4x4 for temporary just to see how everything works and we got about a five to eight mile an hour wind going right now and we're getting about one revolution every second second and a half so we're already at 60 rpm which is beating the Savanius in any wind. A little more of a gust there is picking up. So, once I get some uh, wires hooked up to it, I'm going to use an extension cord to bring the three phase AC out, and then I'll hook up the rectifier farther away so I don't have any losses from DC, and then uh, we'll take some measurements.